now continuing the series on trust and leadership, the sixth pillar in the pillars of transformation. And today's topic is getting on the trust train, which is building natural levels of oxytocin. When you have high organizational trust, it entails a willingness to empower your team. It entails a good relationship between the leader and the team, which results in increased productivity and employee engagement. And the way you do this is what's called the tr building the trust factors. And that is based on the acronym oxytocin. And the O stands for ovation, which is creating excellence. Then we have the X, which is expectations. So make sure you are challenging the team. And then you have Y, which is yield. So yield means that you are delegating to the team. And then you have T, which is transferring, which is creating jobs for the different team members. And then O, which is openness which means that you are sharing information with the team. Don't keep it all to yourself. Make sure everyone is staying informed. And then C, which is caring. Make sure that you are working towards building relationships. These are not numbers, folks. This is not an assembly line. These are actual people and you have to make sure that you are caring for them. And then I is invest. Make sure that you are investing in the well-being of the team and, and, the, and everyone overall. And then finally, N, which is natural, which means to be authentic. Make sure that you as a leader are being authentic, you are really being genuine, and then your team will be genuine back. So when you have followed this oxytocin formula, then what you wanna do is you want to measure, it's very important to measure which of the trust factors is not doing well and put your attention on that and keep going through this process. And that way you will always be building your organizational trust. So contact me to build your organizational trust. And remember, don't fit in, fit out.